What is a PMO and what do they actually do? As some of these videos are going to be about what I do for a living, I thought it might be helpful to explain. I'm a PMO and us PMOs often get asked what that stands for. Well, the P can stand for project, program or portfolio. The M stands for management and the O stands for office or officer, because let's face it, how can a person like me be an office? Oh, and by the way, a program is a set of projects that are all coordinated to deliver a single large outcome and a portfolio most often is all the projects being run by an organization or entity. So PMO means project or program or portfolio officer. Still none the wiser. Fair enough, let's dig a bit deeper. When organisations need to significantly change the way that they do their day-to-day -day business operations, they typically run something called a project using an approach called project management. Most project management approaches try to increase the predictability of change by reducing the number of surprises. On projects and programmes, this means planning out what's going to happen or scheduling, keeping a lookout for things that could affect the project's outputs or risk and issue management, and ensuring that the project or programme is spending roughly the amount of money that it was expected to or cost management. A project or programme PMO is especially useful when the person leading the project is well versed in the organisation's day-to-day operations but not necessarily in delivering change. For portfolios, it means keeping track of things like when the projects are scheduled to start and finish, who will be affected by the outcomes, whether there are enough resources to support all the projects that are supposed to be delivering at the same time, and how they're all doing, both in terms of what they're spending and what they're delivering. A portfolio PMO is especially useful in making sure that the executives responsible for organisational change are well informed so that they can make good decisions and that the projects are abiding by any organisational rules. So in a nutshell, a PMO is a service-oriented person like me who helps organisations to improve the way that they change, sometimes by supporting the delivery of change projects and programmes, and sometimes by ensuring that executives get the information they need to make decisions about those change projects and programmes. Does that help? What have PMOs done for you? Let me know in the comments.